Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I wanted to talk about a topic that I get asked a lot of questions about as a periodontist and that is why do I need a bone graft? So we talk a lot about bone grafting and I do a lot of bone grafting in my practice and patients often ask me why do I need a bone graft? And the second question that they ask is where does the bone graft come from? So let's be clear on what a bone graft is. So a bone graft is actually a collagen scaffold. It's usually It usually comes in a particulate form, so it's little granules with varying sizes depending on the brand of bone graft that you're using. And it's a collagen scaffold that allows your own body to build the bone. So anywhere that we place it in the mouth, it's gonna be a scaffold for um, the blood cells to come in. They're gonna change into a different cell type and start Start building the bone this happens over a course of a few months because that's how naturally the bone forms um, so anywhere we place this bone graft it's gonna take some time to heal and basically it's gonna take a few months uh, to turn over and have mature bone so the other question that patients ask a lot is where does the bone graft come from? So there's varying sources that uh, we can get a bone graft from. So the first source is a cadaver source. Um, it's called an allograft. Allo meaning from another human that's not your own tissue. So the donor is somebody that's passed away that's donated their tissue to a tissue bank and that tissue bank is going to process the bone graft. There aren't going to be any living cells in the graft. So there's no no way that your body can recognize any type of antigens in the graft and it's been heavily studied in medicine and dentistry and it's very very safe and effective to use patients often ask can I reject the bone graft um, no you cannot reject the bone graft the only time something can happen is the graft can get infected and that has nothing to do with um, what's part of the graft itself. It just has to do with the patient might be compromised, um, they're a smoker, they're a diabetic, and the graft can um, not heal properly. So the second place that we can get a bone graft from is an animal source. So the animal source is either a cow source, bovine, or a pig source, porcine. And there's also uh, equine, which is horse, uh, but we don't use that very often here in the US. Um, so usually the most common ones that I use are either bovine or porcine, and it just depends on the indication for where I would use the graft for me to determine if I need that type of graft or not. A lot of times these grafts, they're called xenografts, and a lot of times they have a very slow resorptive process, so they stay around in the body a long time. So if I'm getting somebody ready to place an implant and I have an extraction, I want to place an allograft that is fast resorbing so that way I can go back into that socket or into that ridge and place an implant very quickly. So that's an indication where I would use the allograft. And sometimes if I want the bone to slowly resorb, for example, in a periodontal defect around a tooth, I might decide to use a animal source because I want that bone to stay there for a long time, let's say it's an intrabony defect, and slowly turn over. Um, so those are some examples of where I would use the bone graft material and which type I would use and why. All in all, um, I would like all my patients to know that bone grafting is very safe and it's a very effective way to regenerate a lost part of your jaw. Your, doing something that's very very predictable highly predictable now and very effective so i hope this helps answer some of your guys's questions please let me know if you like this video and you want to have more videos like this from me hope to see you guys soon have a great day bye